Hey guys, it's your boy Crazy Animal. You are watching another episode of Rhyme, episode number four. This game just keeps getting interesting as we go further along with the story. As you guys saw in episode three, there were some robotic friends that we ran into. And those robotic friends were interesting in a sense where this kid, Rhyme is what I call him, this kid brought them to life. Some sort of artificial intelligence. I have no idea what it is, but I mean, the storyline the storyline looks like they're actually living way in the ancient days, but yet they have technology to bring these robotic looking things that have an uh, intellectual, you know, kind of like a, um, uh, what, what we would call uh, an intelligent being in a sense, where they're able to do things that, you know, I mean, look, they're walking through the ocean to get to whatever it is that's their purpose. I mean, I still don't know what the main purpose of these robotic looking things are, but somewhere deep within, they understand something. There's an emotional connection between the kid and these robots, and we'll find out. This is going to be the first episode where the kid isn't gonna f isn't falling asleep. I mean, most episodes he starts off by laying down unconscious and eventually he wakes up. But this is the first one where he's actually walking into whatever this place is called. So we'll find out. The kid looks funny. I mean, look, he looks like he's scared, but then uh, yet yeah, he's so brave. I mean, the story just I'm I'm in love with the storyline so far. And I don't know, a lot of people were very critical of this game. I love what they did. Amazing. Alright, let's see. So my robot friends already walked in. Oh look! There's the other piece! I've been telling you guys about this. Yes! I'm so glad I did that. Wait! Oh. That goes- that's a different piece. So I missed, I think I might have missed some key pieces in the other game. If I did, that's my bad. That sucks. So, I didn't know that. Now I, you have to make sure, oh look at this. So the robots are on the outskirt. And uh, some sort of light, I don't know what that is, but it's like a light beam. And you see the dark little mage looking things. I call them the evil or whatever evil people. Well, I don't know. Something is coming back to life. So we'll figure it out. But before I go follow this robot, let me see if there's another one of those around here somewhere. I guess the robot is going to follow me. Okay. Hey, Mr. Robot. You going that way? Alright, then I'll go this way. Hmm. So far, the story keeps on progressing. It's got a really emotional attachment to it. Uh, when I say an emo emotional aspect or emotional attachment, this. Oh, wait. It's a man weeping. Nah, yeah, I don't know why I did that. Ignore me. It's a boy weeping. And... Can't really tell what's going on, but... Alright, well... I wish you can hold a, uh, a torch or something to kind of get an idea of where you're heading, but... Nothing like that. Oh, there is a way. There's a way to climb this thing. Look, you see that? I don't know. What, maybe like this? Alright, I'm dumb. Alright. I won't attempt that right now. We'll figure it out. It's so hard to see. Very hard to see. I mean, there's so many 
It's shadows. Everything is shadowy. And in this stormy day, apparently the torches are still lit. So, that's interesting. Somewhere here is a dark secret that I'm trying to figure out. And still struggling. Let's see. Might be able to figure this out. There's a way to... I don't know if I'm supposed to climb that. Oh, right there. I don't think I'm supposed to climb it. Whoa. These are giants. Where are they going? They look humongous. Okay. They just stared at me and didn't even uh, come after me. That's that's interesting. I'm still trying to figure out what happened to those people. Hey, how you doing, Ro Mr. Robo Man? Alright, let's go. Don't miss anything important. We need the other piece. I'll follow Roadhog. I can also call him Tails. There you go. Is this it? Wait, what? That was a robot. No way. Was he the key to this door? Is that their purpose? Probably their purpose. I could be wrong. All right. Nothing here. I'm just testing out stuff. Okay. So looks like I got to figure out how to get to the top. He's doing it for me. Thank you, Robo Man. I went all the way there only to find out you had my back. Robo Man knows. See, I'm telling you, artificial intelligence, I don't know. Or more like intelligent design of some sort. I don't know. I mean, he's they're communicating. Their brain waves communicate with one another. Kid doesn't have to say much. Alright, I'll shut up and let you guys enjoy this music for a few minutes. What's up, Roadhog? Not Roadhog, technically Road Dog should be the name. Road dog, that's the name, not road hog. Come on, crazy animal. So far, guys, uh, this game is way above my expectation. Uh, I heard that the developer, I don't know, this could be rumors, but I mean, I checked online and it looked like it was accurate. Uh, I, was, I was reading that the developer read some very negative reviews before this game was even released, a couple, maybe a year back or so. And he was so emotional, he had said, if it wasn't for the fact that he uh, created the game already, he goes, this game probably wouldn't even be released after the kind of reviews he read. Uh, I even heard that he went to, uh, he had, he spent two days crying, actually. Two days crying. I don't know how accurate this story is, but 
Look, that's the purpose. They are the keys to these door. I don't know what... I mean, I don't know if they come back to life or what, but look, they're getting split in half. So anyways, the developer cried and was very, very emotional about the way people were reviewing this game. I guess they were very critical of the game. But honestly, I don't understand why. Why would you be so critical of this game? The storyline is amazing. The music is amazing. Everything about this game is heartfelt. It's got emotions. The puzzles are fun. Sometimes they're challenging. Sometimes it takes me. If not you, it takes me time. Look, he's trying to open the door. He doesn't... He doesn't want the robot to die. Is that what's happening? Oh, no way. He's the last one. No way. That's pretty sad. That is so sad. Okay, kiddo. Everything is gonna be alright. You don't worry. We're gonna make it out of this one day. Whatever is going on, we're gonna figure it out together, kid. You, me, and Road Dog. It's the kid! Oh my god. Each one of those lights, I gotta get to that light. Where is it? Oh wait, is it playing mind games with me? Okay, I get that. Alright, so I'll go get that light first. If I can even reach it. So anyways, going back to the story, the developer was crying because of the kind of reviews people left. And it was pretty sad. I mean, the whole purpose of it was, you know, the reason why he was crying is that he really put a lot of effort into this game. And then we go over there, we criticize everything, we haven't even played the game. So I don't know, I mean, I'm the type of guy I like to try the game, play it a few times before I criticize anything. And I actually got this game without paying attention to what people think, and it turned out to be a really good game. Okay, I think I found it. That sucks. I've been doing circles around the map and nothing. Great music, but kiddo gotta make some things happen. Well, there you go. I think I can reach that. Can I? Uh, no. Actually, no, I can't. There you go. That's me. What's happening?
What happened? All right. I think I'm done there. Maybe that one next. I did like a whole circle, didn't I? Went from place to place. And I guess they're all done in order. I'm assuming. Don't really know if that's factual, but... There you go. Wow. Okay. That's what that was. Hey, you're supposed to jump straight. There you go. I don't know why you kept doing that. I guess I gotta go here. And then... Go here. We'll probably hop over this. Yep. Same here. This one should fall over. Yep. Awesome. Getting the hang of it. There's my little road dog. Wait, this road dog also has a purpose, whoever he is. My bad. Didn't mean to do that. There you go. Alright, so I gotta break this down. Getting the hang of this puzzle. It was a little... I was scared in the beginning. Like, shoot, what do I do? I was under the impression I wasn't gonna figure this out. All right. Oh. What do I do here? Let's see if I can figure this out. Because I can't really jump straight. Oh man, the kid glitched out. I'm telling you. Couldn't see Jack.
Alright, let's see. I think I got this. I don't know if my road dog. Well, he's there. What? I thought he lost faith in me. Like, okay, he can't do this. That's me. That's the little boy. There's still one more. This music, as I've said before, is so beautiful that if it doesn't make you cry and it doesn't make you feel the emotions, then something is totally wrong with you. You need a health check. It is definitely beautiful music. One of the best. I'm telling you. Alright, now let me figure this part out. I think I got it. There you go. purpose that I don't get it why did I do all that that was whatever there was no purpose but I did it anyway here we go do I need to do one more I think I got them all Where did that go? All right, well, the game saved. Okay, one more. I think that's the last one and I'm done. We're almost there, buddy. Hang in there. Everyone is Waiting for you to make miracles happen. All right, how do I get there? Okay. So maybe. I didn't have to leave. Oh, that's what happened. So I did that, and that brought that ledge down. I didn't pay attention. This is what happens to people when they don't pay attention to school. Actually, maybe I can do it this way.
Can't go there. Oh, right here. Okay. There we go. I always make this game harder on myself. I don't know why. Okay, perfect. We're there, guys. We're almost... We're almost there. Okay. That won't fly. There we go. There we go. For the main boys. This is it. You ready, kiddo? Here we go. Hey. Why didn't this one go off? There you go. Hey! The fox disappeared. Wait. Is the fox disappearing? No! What is going on? No, road dog! Road dog. Wait, what? What has happened to me? What, wait, what happened to the kid? What the hell just happened? Dude. Telling a story. Why is a kid holding his face like that? Jeez. Why did that happen to him? Oh, come on. Give this kid a break. Chisel. The kid turned black. He's, uh, I don't know what's going on with him. He's like, he's basically dark. He turned into like one of those creatures, uh, and, and we still have yet to find out who that is and or what that is. Okay. Hopefully we find out. Alright, here we go. I can just drop right here.
Yep, they won't let me out. So what else do I gotta do? Okay, I look like a ledge you can jump on. Don't lie. Okay, more light. Is that the sunlight? What is that? I don't know. No idea, but whatever it is, it better be good. Kids got game. Can't see Jack, but I think I'm going the right way. That's not what I meant to do. Hey. Okay, I guess it's over here. But if you do this, you won't be able to climb. Wait, what? Where am I? I'm back. I'm no longer what I was earlier. I mean, I was basically like the others. singing look the image of a king well this is interesting I have no idea what's going on but he's he went from pure black to pure white Well, let's go down, kiddo. Find out what's in store for you. Can you read what's going on? It's telling a story. Kid, 
Yeah, we made it. It's your boy Crazy Animal. I think episode four is about to be concluded. We figure it out. This was the quietest moment of my life playing a video game that had some challenges and the story, I still don't get what's going on. I I'm trying to figure this out and make sense out of it. I mean, I saw the purpose of those robotic Mr. Robo, Robo Man, and what happened with him, but I'm trying to figure out why. Why all this? Shh, I'm a quiet down now so you guys can listen. Here we go. Is that the little riding head? drowned. Little Riding Hood is himself. earlier he was the one grabbing little riding hood and then all he got was a clock and now this guy who's probably his dad This thing is kind of emotional. I don't know what to make of it. Spirits. That's his dad. This is it. This is the father. And that was probably his room. This is the boat he's in. Is this a boat? Oh, he's living by the beach. Uh, 
That's his bed. That's a kiddo's bed. Oh man. Oh man. He's gone, he's dead. He disappeared. Was this the end? I wasn't expecting the ending so soon. Oh man, this game is uh, very emotional. Poor kiddo. I kept calling that little island heaven. That's what it was. It was heaven. I mean, the kid is in another place. Another dimension. That's the cape. The cape at the beginning. <laughs> oh man. I gotta say, that's the most emotional ending. If this is the ending. <laughs> no way. This is the ending. No. Why did it have to end this way? Oh man. Who said this game was not good? Everything about this game had a real element. A real element. A connection between a boy, his family, a boy who's lost, along the way makes friends, and we end up at the beach. Thank you for watching. This your boy, Crazy Animal. The most emotional ending in a video game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. family for supporting me so much in all my crazy projects. I finally have a fox at home. See, I think this was one of the best games. And even this director, you know, the developer who created this game. Look, to my wonderful wife, thanks for all the love, support, and patience. Love you, Gigi. Isabel, Marcos, Lara, and the rest of my family that has suffered with me and that suffered all my absences. And to the beloved people. I mean, this guy was... He had a heart... Uh, I mean, an emotional story that was just heartfelt, and it can relate to a lot of people. I mean, the, it's a video game, I get it, but I've actually known someone in the family, uh, a family friend who lost a son in an incident where he drowned, and...
another problem with it is its, it's room. Father probably visited his room quite a bit. Probably feel the same way that objects and things that belong to his son. So, you know. Definitely a heartfelt story. And uh, I give the, uh, the game huge applause. I mean, if I had to rank this game, I wouldn't rank it. I wouldn't rate the game uh, on a 1 to 10 scale because this is something different. And uh, I really enjoyed it. So a lot of people that can relate to this, you know, uh, I know it's a story, it's, it's cartoonish, it's animation, and a lot of it isn't really real. But I mean, the kid was going through like a fantasy world. He was going through a, a phase Dreaming, thinking of things, but in reality, it comes down to the father, and it's the kid who's drowning, not the little riding thing. You know, the, the, the fox doesn't last long. Everything goes, everything. Life is the same way. If you think about it, we have all these connections, people that we love, and people that mean a lot to us, and then one day, boom, something happens, and something's gone. car that they drive that reminds me of uh, maybe maybe something that they used to do and you see so often reminds you of this is this is it this is that game this is that game I don't know why a lot of people gave gave the reviews and, and really were giving this uh, such negative reviews I think this is one of the best games ever developed and put into a story you know definitely worth the buy I, I tell you guys, this game was a great game. I enjoyed it. The puzzles were awesome. The story's awesome. You were in control of everything. And in the end, they break your heart. And it sucks. It sucks. I'm assuming there's no rhyme too. But it sucks. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry for letting this video go for so long. Uh, but, you know... It's pretty emotional. I mean, that ending was something. I don't know what to tell you guys. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This your boy, Crazy Animal, a.k.a. Moose. You can call me Moose. I don't know why I call myself Crazy Animal, but that was uh, a name that I had a while back. And I stuck with it when it came to Xbox. But I really enjoyed the game and I uh, appreciate everyone, even the one person that clicks on this video. I appreciate you for supporting me and hopefully we can do more of this down the road. Thank you. Peace.